Hey, we're back to heavy rain. We're gonna go see what's in this luggage locker that the killer left a ticket for. It's hmm. probably exciting. No, you have to hold it. Line 18, box number three. That's okay. like a rabbit. We have to do it right away. 1803. I think I probably already have a trophy, but you do get a trophy if you go straight to it. Uh, okay. 1803. A trophy for just getting it right. Trophy for not fucking that. It's confusing, because, like... There's 10... 11, 13. What was it? 1803? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, or was it 1308? <gasps> 1308. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. I was actually in um, a hotel room 1308 for a convention once. Did you die? Uh, there's actually was this sus suspicious, like, dark purple liquid that kept appearing in um, the shower. Oh. So it was so, actually a little spooky. So you did almost die. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, good thing we're leaving today, because it's probably for here one more day. Oh, 1803. Um, up. Yes, we did it. Okay, I guess I already have the trophy. Which makes sense. I think all their trophies are hidden trophies, so I'd probably have to get it to, to, to know it. Well, yeah, but there's also some that... I don't know. I was thinking, like, <laughs> I was thinking like 90% of the Heavy Rain trophies are like hidden trophies from my memory. Yeah, there's like one I didn't for... want to spoil anything. Yeah. So it's not like shoot 100 enemies. It's like go straight to the right box when you the origami killer sends you a thing. You're or like, like be a good dad and you go on like three things with your son. I think there's a bad dad five. trophy, but oh, I don't remember. Bad dad. Bad dad trophy. There's stuff like that. My little sister has so many of them. She just will constantly play Heavy Rain, honestly, well, when she really gets good. into it. It's really good. Like, she'll play it, and then you'll be like, oh, wow, she's already all the way through it. And then you'll watch her beat it, and the next day she'll be playing it again. Or, like, she'll play it right after she beats it. Well, I, I basically beat it, and it was like Oliver could play this game while I watch. Oh, yeah. No, you played it with, like, several people. <laughs> yeah. That one. Take a shit. He's been... He hasn't gone for days. Oh, shit. Why aren't they showing him peeing? For people who have pee fetishes. There's something for everyone in this game. <laughs> you don't actually see the pee, so it's like a tease. Yeah. You're, you're slut. <laughs> you're slut, Ethan Mars. You're teasing. You um, need a flush. Don't wash your hands. No. Okay. You're touching everything, you monster. <laughs> I'm gonna... Literally just touch everything with my pee hand, <laughs> my pee dick, my dick hands. <laughs> dick hands, dick fingers. <laughs> Is that a horrible mental image? Touches his face. Oh my god, <laughs> you're a fucking monster. You're gonna think of his dick hands for like the rest of the game. <gasps> now he has a dick face it's spreading. Oh. A dick box. <laughs> dick gun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, touch fun. the gun. Fun dick gun. I'm glad that that other dad apparently got this box and was like, well, this is weird. Oh, well. And just kept it. Yeah. Um, what do we want? Open up the cow. Moo cow. It has one in it. It's a clue. I thought that was a bear. Oh, I thought it was a moo cow. Was it like does a, look like a bear. It is a bear. Right. <laughs> it's okay. It can be a cow bear. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son, Joe's garage and parking lot address? <laughs> Drinks obnoxiously. I like it. Thank you. I remember this part. You didn't do good in this part. Do the phone. Oh, I didn't the first time, huh? Yeah. If this is one, I think it is. It is. Probably. I can read your mind. Well, what am I thinking about now? <laughs> Ethan Supple. Double. Same about dick hands, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and how he has dick, dick all over his. Dad, Sean. where are you? This I'm is the so most. Cold. Dad. This kid doesn't give a shit. Dad. Dad. I mean, he's been you know cold for a while, so it makes sense. But it's also like, this is some great child acting. I cry. 
How did he program the phone to do this, honestly? Uh, with that little thing he shoved into the bottom of it. Like... Obviously. He's a... Um, the origami killer is an elite hacker. He's in. <laughs> yeah, take that gun with you. Take it, you tease. <laughs> uh, Put it underneath the. So no one can find it. Yeah. Hide it. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. I feel like he never locks any door that he goes. They lock. They don't want to tell doors and lock automatically. Do they? Maybe. These ones don't look like. Uh, yeah, door. I don't know about these ones, but I know like hotel doors do. Yeah, like the ones with cards do. But the ones these with cards. Don't have cards. Yeah. With keys, I don't think that they have the technology oh. to do that. <gasps> My turn. Go. He's lost. <laughs> where He's am like, I? He's like, I don't live around here. I don't know where I am. How do I get to? McDonald's. <laughs> Mickey D's. The one thing I know in the strange land of wherever this is set. The VIP! Whoa! A trophy! I wonder what that is. What is the that? The killer is white. Aged between 30 and 45. Check these out he doesn't later. act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous Remember fashion. Remember when we discovered... He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. Really That's calm. why he comes at faces from love to you make do. them so calm, like, It's really good. Oh, girl. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have, have anything against now. them? Look at Carl Blake. Carl Blake's more of an image, asshole. a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami I'm figure okay, I'm controlling and a portrait of gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Oh. I want to be calm. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. So we should just Continue, go running around here on random doors until we find them out. Uh, yeah. Geo profiling. Uh, I studied the geographical distribution of the murder. Look how beautiful he is. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe uh, place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he runs from his at base. The trophy? Yeah, By yeah. analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared. Well, these guys, I they didn't care about really good prestation in I like the guy who's in the and what size suit who just is like, this, looks uh, uncomfortable. He's like, eh. zone. He's like, I can't read. For the moment, <laughs> about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You're going to question a one by one. To me. Oh, the VIP trophy is for not getting spotted by... The journalists. Oh, good. You get a uh, trophy calm. if you knock down like 50 we people we at the shit. station. We can then cross check it with our list of suspects and sure. identify the killer. I wasn't sure. We failed. Rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from. Well, I didn't find that clue. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. Why are his vacation photos? It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank Where's that is open to the sky and his fills up with vacation rain photos. Oh, We're wait, wait, this, is, this is now relevant. This now explains why the, the, the rainfall the measurement is so relevant that I keep seeing. Oh, yeah. So. And it's really cool because it tells you the entire time and you're like, why is it telling me that? I don't know why it's telling me that. And now you're like, oh, shit. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. Killers out there somewhere. We gotta get let's off our Let's do old-fashioned police work. Kick down doors and punch people till they tell us a oh, reason. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. Him. You won't Go find him, him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Calm. Calm down. I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Carl Blake has like a bad night last night. He gets so angry no matter what. You said it took six inches of like, rain. Like he uses a soundbite whether or not you're you know aggressive or calm the entire time. Yeah, time so it's just asshole. The weather forecast arrived. I want to do a playthrough of this from this meeting the entire hours. time. That's my favorite. Being like really bad at bad things. Bad dad. Bad dad, bad everyone, everyone dies. It's also really sad, actually, because then it's like, oh, everyone's dead. I don't want people to die, I just want to be mean. Yeah. Can Norman I... Jaden being mean is especially good, because he gets really sassy. <laughs> and He's pretty sassy no matter what. There's a line that, like, especially comes to mind, but I don't know when it is, and I don't really want to, like... What, does it have spoilers? 
I don't think it's really... No answer. There's this time, time where he's like, Oh, shit! You know? Maybe we should Do you have remember that? Inside no. anyway. There's nobody home. It's really good. I think... I bet it is. I I'll tell you when it comes... It's gonna come out. <laughs> there is now. I'm it's not really sure that's though. entirely legal. Don't be narc now, Jaden. <laughs> oh. Shit! Whoa! Shit! This is us as cops. It is. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Look at this really nice interior decorating. I like how subtle it is. Yeah. It's Wait like for the end of the world. We yeah. questioned Tasteful. him a few months back because he was causing it's a nice. disturbance <clears throat> in the park. He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Yep, okay. And this idea in his sick little well, head little nest, is this an apartment? Oh, he has a nice nest. Persecute him. Do you think that he just like wrote these things on the wall? Oh. Yeah. Take all his medicine. You'll be fine. Don't do that. Prank That's not a good advice <laughs> for real life. Not a fun prank. Oops. Actually. <laughs> Remember I was looking back to my old tweets and like, I tweeted and been like, Help Oliver is, is eating all my medication. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, why did it? And then the next tweet I was like, April Fools. And I was like, what are these tweets? I don't remember the context of this at I'm all. pretty sure I was, like, making really not April Fool's jokes, April Fool's jokes at you. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna... Literally April murder. Fool's, I ate all of the medicine in your medicine cabinet. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna clean his dishes. Do that. Where's that command? Why isn't there one? There's this is medicine. not the type of internet content I signed up for. I want to clean dishes. <laughs> Hello, Carter Blake. Have you found anything? Push him. I think I is that a framed picture of Jesus? I love no, I think every framed picture in here is a picture of Jesus. Every picture hey, in here is Jesus. Hey, Carter Blake, do I sit down in our love nest? <laughs> Make sweet love on this Jesus shrine. With Jesus watching. Normal. That's what happens. Yeah, this reminds me of Seven. Writing. Oh, I feel that. Quotations from the Bible. Seven's such a good movie. It is a good movie. If you like Brad Pitt... Getting punched in the face. Yeah, it was good. In the rain. Also, then, like, cop also, movies. Like, cool mystery movies. If you like seeing guns getting rubbed on Brad Pitt's face. As he's crying bloody in the rain. Then watch Seven. <laughs> watch Seven. <laughs> it's honestly directed really well. It's a good movie. It's a beautiful movie. 90s Brad Pitt era was a wonderful era. Yeah. I wish Brad Pitt was in Heavy Rain. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're oh, looking she was this for. guy. <laughs> Nathaniel? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, sorry, Blake. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like Norman to ask Jayden. you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing I'm you of I'm going to say that every single time. You I'll ask me talk. if I've done the dishes yet. <laughs> um, alibi. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. Smoking that dank herb. I was here. I was praying. We started ten minutes All day. <laughs> was there anybody with you? Do you ever just sit in your weird no, Jesus house alone. and pray literally all day? Yeah. This guy does. Where do you work, Nathaniel? So you have a job. Like, do you need to just like hang out with people constantly in order to like say to that you have alibis, just in case the, the police ever humanity. come over you and just like, stream you need to have an alibi and be like, I was on stream. Well, then, no, you're murdering people with your feet crucifixes. off camera. <laughs> <laughs> the hour is nigh. Little do they the know, your God legs have detached from your body. Or <laughs> running around committing murder. <laughs> what about the Kicking. voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? He needs some chapstick. We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? We got all you some chapstick. Know who talks to you. The devil! Don't speak that name. The devil. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? What should I do? Should I wait a bit? Look hey, at Norman James awkwardly about touching it. his face right mm. there. Or I'll say with his uh, dick hands, but he doesn't have he dick hands. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't Make he? Make him pee and then he'll he have dick hands, too. He needs more and more. <laughs> Everyone have dick hands. Make Madison <laughs> pee and have her have dick hands. Oh, She'll help Ethan pee. You mustn't mention him. Give him a hand. Just hold it for him. 
She has two hands too. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voice is torn and it's all night long. Should I should just hang out. You wanted like them to stop, like, didn't you, um, Nathaniel? Uh, stop! Mm. Stop! That's enough. I think I'll do it after this. So you obeyed them chance. to make them stop. You took that boy okay. with you and you drowned you him. Doing? Isn't that right? I like how he's like, no! Blake. Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? This is how you get good confessions. It is. This is definitely moral and ethic and you like. Ah! Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Blake? Shoot. Yeah, probably. What should I do? Um. Mm. Psychology. Not gonna yeah. kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for that. Oh, I'm not the Antichrist. Nothing. He'll spit it back at him. He would have actually. He gently put the gun down on the floor. What should I do? I'm gonna do like a good play. I don't wanna be like super. You shall know divine power. Just have like I'm really scared. Good... Should I just shoot him? Calm down. Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us I'm scared. From I'm scared. I'm scared. Does, May God I don't think the Blake can die. Maybe he can't. I don't know. Divine power, cast Satan and all the other spirits. I think I should shoot him. the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Why could you like knock him to head while he was doing that? Oh. Order. Listen. Order. Enough, Nathaniel. Listen. He's in the car. Shoots Blake. Back off. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna. Ah. I. I shot him. He had probable cause. Yep. Yeah. To shoot him. Looks like you did. Yep. Carl goes like, yep. Can't That's a shooting, him. all right. Come on, let's go. He's like, come on. He's like, he's like, <laughs> Blake laughs. He's like, haha. Let's wipe the place. <laughs> <laughs> let's make him. Haha. <laughs> so is by an incinerator. Anyways, next time on Heavy Rain, I'm going to play this dude. <laughs> Bye. Bye.